Good morning and welcome to WJZ.com. Look how clear this shot is. We've lost a lot of haze. We've lost a very good amount of humidity and we've lost some temperature. Look at these numbers. They're all four to seven degrees cooler than this time yesterday. Your normal overnight low 64. We're coming out of the deep overnight and you just saw Jarrettsville go from 64 to 65 as we warm up as the sun rises. It's been a very, very pleasant overnight. It's going to be a very pleasant day, a beautiful evening coming up. Dinner time temperature under clear skies, about 85 degrees, not too humid. That high pressure that's your friend today does not become your friend tomorrow. It becomes a heat pump. Look at all the red arrows moving our way. Look at this warm front washing up the I-95 quarter. That's going to be 95 degrees with heat index values closer to 100 tomorrow. And then again on Friday, heat index values about 97 or 98 with a forecast temperature of 93 or 94 degrees. So enjoy what we have today while we have it. The official forecast reads sunny, less humid. 87 degrees is going to be the high overnight tonight. Partly cloudy calm. 71 degrees will be the overnight low. Now we take a look at the seven day forecast and there's a lot to begin to talk about and that's going to involve Laura, but in progression. Beautiful today, hot, humid, stuffy tomorrow and Friday. By Friday night, Saturday and potentially Sunday, the remnants of Laura are going to play into your weather with breezy conditions and in some cases a few inches of rain. Once Laura passes by the area, and we're going to do a reset on Laura here in a second. It's going to get really nice Monday and Tuesday. The days leading up to Labor Day right now are starting out to be quite pleasant. Nice, sunny and dry, 80 and 84 degrees. Now, let's specifically talk about Laura, this current radar at 7 o'clock. The lightning strike function of our radar updates every five minutes. And normally there's going to be a bit of a break in the action. There's so much lightning associated with the thunderstorms embedded in Laura that it's, it's just nonstop. And here's the northernmost rain bands now starting to move close to and come ashore right near Houston, Texas. At 4.30 this morning, Laura was 105 miles an hour, now 110 miles an hour, and continuing to move toward the coastline. Landfall definitely is going to be uh, uh, later on uh, uh, today and tomorrow. Expected to become a major hurricane? Yeah, you bet, and here's why. About five minutes after 5 o'clock this morning, with all these alerts in place, the National Hurricane Center has taken Laura from a Category 2 to a Category 4 storm as she approaches the coast. And to my way of thinking, and I was talking off air with meteorologist Tim Williams about this, that almost leads you to believe could come ashore as a Cat 4. This is a clear and present danger now to the Gulf Coast. Then Laura becomes north as a tropical storm, subtropical depression, then an area of low pressure as she heads on off to the east. Now, what I want to do right now is reset this entire shot. We're basically going to be looking at the same thing, but instead of it stopping as Laura goes into the Midwest, we're now going to go all the way over to the East Coast because the track of Laura is going to come just south of Baltimore. And now there's some thinking Laura becomes a tropical storm again just offshore. So we know for a fact rain from Laura Friday night through Saturday, but Sunday, if you get a tropical storm just offshore, there's got to be some cause and effect with breeze and rain being forced inland. And this is kind of interesting uh, point being uh, getting ready to raise. If Laura loses her name over the Midwest, this becomes a post-tropical depression or a low, and a new storm forms, that that become Nana off, off our shore. We believe that is the case. Either way, Laura and the remnant, something we have to watch, is going to play into our weather as of right now. Thanks so much for stopping by WJZ.com.